Hi, I'm Lori Nemitz, and I'm introducing you into my article, Movement and the Client, Creating Space for What Matters. I just want to say thank you. I was so thrilled to be on a recent podcast. And then from there, um, the invitation into this article, a little bit about some of the work that I do. So my background, a little bit eclectic, comes from a, as a dance movement therapist working with people in psychology to yoga teacher, yoga therapist, to also working and teaching dissection lab and as a professor. So I wear many different hats, but throughout it all, movement is really important to me. And seeing that, understanding that is something that I think about quite a lot of the time. So when I might be a client on your table, I want you to think about too, where I'm going after I'm done or what I've done before that. So for somebody like myself, you know, walking is incredibly important. For somebody else, picking up their grandchildren might be the important thing in their lives. So understanding some of what we're doing movement for is important. And throughout all that thread, for many of us, we're either walking into your space or wheeling into your space. So however we locomote into that space also is an important piece of the equation. So think about the fact that you're creating space for your client without destabilizing those of us who have lots of range of motion. So let's get down. I'm going to show you a bit of a couple things down on the mat and in movement, and we'll talk from there. So if you come on down with me, I have my mat down here. If you've done some of your work and you're creating a lot of sliding and gliding between the muscle groups, we can add on to that in movement afterwards as well. Maybe you need to do this for your own body after a day of standing around the table. So if I'm down on the floor, and I'm gonna show you for a moment here, I might either take my hands behind the back of the body or something like a ball and roll and stimulate that proprioception even as I'm doing things like doing plantar flexion and dorsiflexion of the ankle as well as rotation. Now one thing, somebody flexible like myself, it's very tempting to go for range of motion out to the side, but we don't want to destabilize something like the sacroiliac joint. So for somebody like myself, maybe even putting a block to where my range of motion can go is a much better idea. We want to create space, but like I said, we want that strength and stability as well. All of these actions, very important for when I'm walking, when I'm doing any of that action in the body. If I come on up, maybe also taking stuff like using that ball in between the legs and giving that squeeze strengthening as well. Same thing, I'm still working plantar flexion and dorsiflexion as I go. And I may even add some variability to this whole equation. I like to play with different environment, different shape. I've got one of these lovely little unstable surfaces here. I might do the same thing for myself or clients organizing the body with an unstable surface underneath. That suddenly becomes a lot more challenging in a very positive way for the body. So we can play with all of those things in movement even after being down on the table. And then to think about some of the qualities of what I want to have in my life. If I'm doing a movement, this is a old movement from the modern dance world. Some of you may recognize it. I can add to that as well, creating maybe some fascial qualities to the movement by preloading, by adding perhaps variability, by changing direction and space. All of those sorts of things will create a little bit more resilience in the body. For somebody like myself who does a lot of movement, but also needs some pulling in at times. Hope that makes sense. Um, and things like environmental space, really important in the body as well, and to how you set up your own space for your client. I really appreciate somebody who has their space organized, 
and welcoming, both texture, quality of light, all of those sorts of things, temperature, that becomes important for a lot of us who are coming into your space. Hope this gives you a few little ideas and welcome in to look at more of my work as well. Um, as I mentioned, wrote book recently on the myofascial system in form and movement. And I have a lot of dissection labs going on coming up in the next um, several months. You can always look on my website, www.wellnessbridge.com. I have one end of summer coming up in Chattanooga, one in November um, coming up in San Diego. So lots of good things ahead. Come explore with me. And again, thanks for you guys for all the work that you do. Take care and hope to see you again soon. Bye.